five thirty. I'm going to call a meeting to order. So let's roll call. Uh, all right, go right down the line. Alderperson Heidemann. Here. Alderperson Rust. Here. Alderperson Salazar. Here. Alderperson Ramey. Present. Okay. <laughs> well, you had yeah, Alderperson Decker is here. We'll start over with you. Uh, pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I think everyone knows everyone here, so I think we can skip the introductions unless there's an objection. Uh, and we'll go right, right to number five, approval of minutes from June 13th. <coughs> I move to approve. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Uh, any discussion on those minutes? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Those approved. Uh, number six, general ordinance number 8 2324, June 19th, 2023. Code 1997, Code Section 134 181, so as to prohibit use of city owned boat launches during the Mercury US Challenge event. Director. Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Um... We have several people here this evening that can speak to us. Uh, Mayor Sorensen's here this evening, and, and Liz, the assistant attorney, who helped uh, work with the draft ordinance for this. As you're well aware, we have the P1 Mercury Marine Powerboat race coming in August, and they're going to need these boat ramps uh, exclusive to their event. So in order to accommodate that, the ordinance is requesting that we move shut this down for that event for the days. So I believe there's also some amendment language in front of you. And with that, I guess I would entertain or if you would so be kind to let the mayor speak on this. Yeah, and I think, so, So uh, thank you, David. So uh, a few parts with this, might we're, we're gonna close down the whole thing. So um, they're gonna be putting in, uh, uh, in one of the, the kind of base there, they're gonna be putting in a pretty big crane. These are anywhere between 30 foot boats, 45 foot boats and 90 foot boats. So it's not like you just back in your trailer like a normal boat over here. They have to have some pretty big equipment to get these big, big boats off of the uh, uh, their trailers into the lake there. And then uh, for emergency protocols, they'll always have to have one emergency bay open for in case of emergency evacuations, whether that's for uh, Coast Guard rescues or, you know, uh, sheriff's boat, whatever like that, just that emergency in and out access. Uh, for the events as well, too. And then I think just another component, too, just in terms of communication, if constituents contact you about this, there is already signage up in that area stating that this will be closed coming up, and we're uh, directing people to the 8th Street boat launch. Um, and I know uh, uh, Mike Wilmes is looking at, you know, making some short-term accommodations there just so we can facilitate other signs that boats are fitting in there as well, too. And then generally, too, if you know, or, or referring folks either to use the boat, the boat launch in, um, excuse me, on 8th Street or to go up to Cleveland. Okay. Well, I, you know, I think this is going to be, you know, this, this event is going to be, I think, a great, great thing for the city. I think that this is something that we should really be supportive of. Uh, any uh, comments? Anyone else there? All right. I guess then we need a motion. I move to approve. Okay. Second. Motion made and seconded. Okay. I move to amend the ordinance, general ordinance, so that section 60-131, subsection C, reads as follows. No person shall launch a boat or other watercraft or otherwise utilize the design municipal boat launch site at Deland Park, nor shall any person park a boat trailer or other vehicle in the parking stalls near the boat launch site at Deland Park that are des designated for vehicles with boat trailers only at any time from August 8th through August 14th, 2023, except with the express written consent of the mayor. Such consent shall be granted only as part of the city's role in promoting safety during the Mercury Midwest Challenge event. This subsection does not apply to the 8th Street launch at the intersection of South 8th Street and Riverfront Drive. So, Okay, motion is made and seconded on the amendment. No, uh, no. Any discussion on it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay. 
and discussion on the amendment. Okay. Then we first we'll vote on the amendment. All those in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. And that's on. Okay. Now we make a uh, make a vote on the uh, poll on the amendments or the change. All those in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved as such. <laughs> I think we did that right. <laughs> okay. So then I believe that Heather and Stacy have a copy of this language mm -hmm. so that, that can be included in the minutes. Okay. Great. Thank you. And then just you're going to have, so now you're saying that the people can't post, park in the lot next to it, right? C correct. correct. So you will have have appropriate signage up that says no nope. yes everything is posted from the marina well i see the, uh, that but i'm talking about like you know when there's a special event yep. happening you know this yep, yep, yep. obviously <laughs> you put up special signage that says like no parking coming right and you like bag off the stuff there's nothing really to bag there but you're going to make it kind of obvious right okay yep. and our neighbors know the neighbors next to the yacht club will know and the marina know okay. yeah club aware. great I have, a, I have a meeting tomorrow at noon with the YMCA to know if they're not going to be able to use those lots also. Oh, they yeah. won't be able to even use the lot further right. down. Right, we might allow to Cooper and all that. I have a meeting with them tomorrow. I'm in our office, did, did a nice flyer, which I'm going to see if it's okay, then they can put it up to the YMCA. I'll give a right. bunch of them they can hand out. So. And then can that flyer get shared with, is that the same, can you share that with the Ellis District? Like the little, not little, but the yep. neighborhood? Yep. Mm -hmm. and then I don't know if Veronica did send it out already too, but we, we have, and <clears throat> I'm getting a little off topic here, but um, the uh, uh, trolley is going to be doing uh, free rides that weekend and picking up people at um, uh, uh, remote parking spots as well. Okay. And there's a map and everything. Emma from DPW put that together, mm -hmm. so it looks really good too. So just in communication too, like if folks want to park, not just for the boat ramp, but just for the, the event in general to utilize some of the other options that we're accommodating for. Yeah. And then you plan to use that green space next to Blast as parking, right? <laughs> the old armory site? Yeah. Yeah. I just like that you called it that green space. Because it is green space. I, right now. Yeah. The, the old armory, yeah. you plan to use that as parking, right? There will be for the boat, those, those, that'll be for the racers. So that'll actually be, if I, if I, we yes. say that'll be all chain linked off with a gate yeah. that'll be locked and that'll only be for uh, the, the race teams with their rigs. And their trailers and stuff like that. Okay. They also very are aware that no, no, no. no. It's, that's no. changed now. It's, so they're only going to use it early. Like, I thought it was the same. Like, I thought like when, if they believe like Wednesday or Thursday before the ramp area is ready, they're going to park there temporarily. But then starting Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday, they're going to be all in the parking area. And that green space is really not going to be used for parking. If anything, it's just going to be green space. Right. Okay. It's going to be used for the army. Oh, the army. The, the army. Army, army. Army, oh, army. army, army. They're, they're, doing a demo, they're doing a demonstration of, uh, okay. of potential um, mobile bridge. They want to show their uh, okay. ability. Did anyone inform Blast about that? Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to talk. You definitely want to tell them because there's so many families that go to that and children. Like you just they have to know to like post it on their social and. There's just a lot happening there. And so I just want to be very clear, like, especially in the summer, the line is right. always 12 plus yeah. deep. So, you know, people are looking for parking. Yep. That's a good point. All right. Line number seven. Uh, resolution number 2023-24, June 19th, 20, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Bay Lake Regional Planning Commission to update the Sheboygan Urbanized Area Sewer Service Plan and authorize payment for such services. See Jordan here, so I guess. <laughs> so this is the collection system. Yes. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't necessarily. I mean, it all ends up at the plant, but yes. So what this is is I. Uh, through the Department of Natural Resources, where where uh, that's, we we need to develop a basically a water quality management plan under under their their code. Uh, typically, what we do is it's called a, it's for our purposes we call it the Section 208 plan. 
But what it is, it's a, it's a long range forecast of the greater urbanized area, which would include our sewer service area, Cheboygan, Village of Kohler, City, uh, City of Falls, portions of the airport, Town of Wilson, Town of Sheboygan, so forth. So it looks at this whole area for future development and future sewer service needs. The last one uh, was completed in October 2011. It needs to be updated every 10 years, so we got we to gotta start working on it. With COVID, things kind of just were on the back burner. Uh, Bay Lakes helped us the last time. Bay Lakes is also part of our Regional Planning Commission, so we, it's really nice to use this organization since we use them for our transportation planning. So a lot of that planning that goes into road networks also can be used for sewer service area, for future growth patterns and where things are happening in the area. Since they've worked with us in the past, we re, uh, did an outreach with them and they proposed to help us with the next plan, which would have a horizon planning year of 2050. So uh, what's in front of you tonight is just kind of their, their proposal, their cost uh, structure. Uh, this is all being funded through wastewater. And by through wastewater, that includes then through our rates that we charge also the city of Falls, Village of Kohler, Town of the Mosul and Sheboygan uh, and Wilson. They all contribute to the cost of this plan through their rates. So um, it's a necessary Thing that we have to do as a department and work with the outlying communities as well and looking for your support and authorization. Uh, is this strictly san sanitary sewer? This is yes. not wastewater or, or not, I mean, it, not, not, not um, stormwater. Correct. Okay. Now, stormwater is, is they look at factors in stormwater in terms of water quality management. And then if you're looking to do if there, if there would be shortfalls mm -hmm. in terms of the sanitary, then there's opportunities within stormwater to share and do some things for water quality management to get some credits. Okay. We're, we're not in that position currently. I'm not sure when we start reviewing the 2050 plan, if that would be a factor, but um, that's a consideration. But the primary focus is sanitary sewer. Questions, comments? I guess that I'm looking for a motion. I move to approve the resolution. Second. Motion has been seconded. Um, now we have to um, make a slight change. So yeah. uh, um, I need an amendment then also to that. <laughs> I would first explain what it is. So, okay. so while reviewing the agenda, Kathy noticed that a couple of the numbers in the account number were switched. So we need to have an amendment to reflect the accurate account number and then that will fix it for the final passage. Okay. And the final count number is 630361-531100. So that would be, someone has to make an amendment to that. So move to amend. To to amend. I move to amend to reflect that. Okay. <laughs> Second. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now we'll vote on that amendment unless anyone has any questions or concerns or comments. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Then we'll go back to the original uh, thing. Uh, any other quick comments on that? All in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. All righty, we're at that time. Uh, next meeting date is July 11th. Uh, we've exhausted the agenda. I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Second. Motion to second. All in favor? Aye. aye. Votes aye. We are adjourned. Aye.